very second time for the Grand Annual Challenge Cup. Royal Jake in the noseband over on the far side. Golden Alpha, Turgenev got one too as they rose at fence number one and all land safely. Red Arc is just in behind these leaders as they blaze on towards the second. Golden Alpha lifts off first. Blur Superb now joining Golden Alpha. Followed by Got One Two, Native Scout in a blue jacket in fourth place. Coral Core over on the far side in yellow. A couple of greys prominent, the near side Lord Grey. Uh, Turgenev handy, Red Arc in the cheek pieces as they take the next. And then back in the pack to Wave Rock and Exit Swinger and Dark and Sharp with uh, towards the inside Risk Accessor as they approach the next and Passero is some way off the gallop at this stage Royal Jake having led going towards the first fence has lost his place pretty rapidly so passing the stands it's Blur Superb now from Got One Two and Lord Grey with Golden Alpha in fourth and Turgenev and Native Scout and then Red Arc Coracor on the inside of Wave Rock, Fadudal de Cochet out wide, Vol Solitaire, Orange Jacket midfield, Risk Accessor on the inside, then Palashan, followed by Ross Moff, Eskley Brook out wide of runners, others including Castle Prince, Royal Jake, Dark and Sharp, then Harvest and Passero tailing off. Onto the water jump and Blur Superb at a good gallop here. By two and a half lengths to Turgenev and got one too, was awkward there at the water. Golden Alpha right on the inside in the blue and green jacket, Tony McCoy. Lord Grey, the second of the Greys. The first of the Greys in the foreground is Turgenev, the leader, made a meal of that open ditch blur, superb, but found a leg. Leads by four lengths to Turgenev. Golden Alpha got one too, Red Arc up on the outside. Then Native Scout and Lord Grey as they blazed over that one. Wave Rock is deep on the course. Ross Moff makes some stealthy headway. Just in behind the leaders, Coracor on the rail in the yellow jacket, followed through by Risk Accessor as they jump another open ditch. And Blur Superb is uh, still the leader. Eskley Brook pulled up before that open ditch. Passero continues well tailed off. Harvest in a black jacket is struggling. A plain fence reaching the top of the hill. And Blur Superb all wrong going into that. Blur Superb amazingly recovered again, but Golden Alpha is left in front on landing. It's Golden Alpha, Red Arc in second, Blur Superb, Coracore. They've got four to jump, Native Scout, Vol Solitaire, the orange jacket, Wave Rock further out as they head down to the fence at the top and it's Golden Alpha who lands in, in front for Martin Pipe and Tony McCoy. Red Arc giving chase in second. Then Native Scout, Blur Superb, Coracor, Risk Accessor is getting closer. So too Vol Solitaire. Wave Rock and Dark and Sharp and Ross Moff in the big nose band away to the left and wider out his palette. Golden Alpha's down there. Wave Rock also went and uh, so the leader Golden Alpha comes to grief there under Tony McCoy. It's not been the best of weeks for the champ. Red Arc left ahead Vol Solitaire and Palachan are challenging now as they swing the final turn. It's the young horse Palachan in the yellow sleeve jacket that strikes the front here. Mark Bradburn in the saddle. Vol Solitaire, Red Arc, then Dark and Sharp in a blue and green jacket. Native Scout, Risk, Accessor and Ross Moff over two out. It was Palachan in front by three lengths. Vol Solitaire rallies far side, then Dark and Sharp. Red Arc and Risk, Accessor. Here's the final fence. Palachan, he made it just about right. Can he hold off the pursuers? In second, dark and sharp. He's coming at the leader, who's drifting right, staring at the crowd. He's green. Palashan from dark and sharp. Palashan straighten out and forges away again. And Palashan goes on to score. From risk accessor in second, dark and sharp third. Vol Solitaire, Ross Moff and Red Arc. To one chance. Dark and sharp third at 13 to 2 and Vol Solitaire fourth at 7 to 1. Ross Moff was the 6 to 1 favourite and all 21 ran in the 2003 Grand.